Hi everyone, welcome to the AI 900 Azure AI Fundamentals Prep class. I am going to do the introduction in this video and explain what the exam is going to be like and then I am going to do five other videos which will be the different component parts of the exam. Um, I'll also do another little one on how to log into Microsoft Learn and create your own uh, profile. So, my name is Michelle Sanford. I am a Developer Engagement Lead at Microsoft in Australia. Uh, these are the certifications that I have, but that can be changing all the time. You can actually find them on, well, if you follow me on LinkedIn or on uh, GitHub, I update them in there. And the reason I say is they change all the time is because at Microsoft Australia, we believe it's really important that everyone is on a continuous learning path. With technology, there's new features uh, released every night, pretty much. And so it's important to stay on top of these things and to keep learning and keep thinking and keep playing with things. So uh, our managing director, Stephen Worrell, he thinks it's so important that he has given us all one day per month dedicated to learning. And I usually use it for doing certifications, but <laughs> He doesn't mind what you use it for as long as you are learning something new and uh, investing in yourself. So it's a really good reminder, even if you're not working or, or you are working, maybe you put one day a month in your calendar and say, learn something new today, just to, to trigger and remind you uh, of the opportunity that you have to expand your mind and learn new things. <laughs> Okay, um, here we go. So this is what our recommended learning path is for doing your AI fundamentals exam, that you start with the Microsoft Learn uh, learning path on on Microsoft Learn. So I'll show you that in a separate video, but essentially if you go to the internet and just type Microsoft Learn Docs, the first page that comes up will be the Microsoft Learn website. And then you can choose your learning path by role, by certification, uh, or just by topics. Uh, it's, it's pretty fun and it's pretty flexible. If you log in, it will track your learning. So I'll show you that in another video. Um, also, if you are following the Microsoft Student Accelerator or one of the certification programs that I'm involved in, you might have a, uh, a challenge page that has been assigned to you. And this sort of will track where you're up to in your learning so that you can then get your exam voucher because we don't really want to issue any the exam vouchers unless you have done your learning path. So this helps us see that. Um, Okie dokie. So the AI Fundamentals exam is made up of several component parts and I'm going to talk about those during uh, more detail in each of the individual ones. But you can see that the first part is AI workloads, then there's machine learning, there's computer vision, there's natural language processing, Thing. There's conversational AI and uh, then this prep class. So that's the order that we recommend you do them in. Do them through the learning path on your own, absorb as much content as you can, then do this prep class and then you'll be ready for your exam. So there we go. Though that course agenda and those component parts, they are all visible on the Microsoft Learn website. So when you go to the when you tick by certification and you search on AI 900, it will then show you that these are the, and you can download them. These are the component parts of the exam. And this is what you need to show that you have knowledge of in order to pass it. It is a fundamentals level exam. So do not let that stress you out. Do not think this is too complex and there is too much information here. 
what I would say is go through your learning path as quick as you can and then go through it a second time more slowly. The first time, of course, it seems impossible. <coughs> so you can count on having an hour to do your exam. Uh, you might have a little bit more depending uh, because they are no, no two exams are the same. There is a huge question set and every person sitting an exam gets a different random set of questions. So do not feel worried if you do not pass your exam and other people that you know who did the exam on the same day passed it doesn't mean that they are smarter than you or more prepared than you or know more than you. They could just have got a completely different question set and the questions that they had were ones that they were really well prepared for and the ones that you had might not have been as easy for you. So, you know, don't compare yourself to others is what I'm saying. And don't worry if you don't pass the first time. Try it again. Try it again. There are plenty of people that have not passed things the first time. Although AI Fundamentals being my favourite one, I will say that <laughs> it doesn't have a high failure rate because it's super interesting. It's hard not to fall in love with this programme. Okay, so you're going to get between 40 and 60 questions. Um, you need to score 700 out of 1,000. You can see from that that if there's 40 questions and the score is out of 1,000, you're not getting one point per question. You're getting lots of points per question. Um, so it's really important that, that you answer every single question. Um, I would say go through them all, answer them quickly, but then um, tick them if you were not sure of any of them rather than, so you can put a little tick on it, which means you wanna review it later so you can come back to them after you've answered everything. Because normally when you start your exam, there's a few and you're really cautious and you're thinking them through. And before you know it, you spent 10 minutes on the first question and you don't, <laughs> You know, 10 minutes for every question. So therefore, it's, it's better to go through quick. Just, just get through them, see what's there, answer them almost instinctively, <clears throat> um, and then go back later and review them and make the changes then. That's definitely the best way to do it. Um, I think that there's a lot, of, a lot of keywords that you can pick up in the fundamentals exams so it's possible to know that if they say the word historical for example they are probably it's probably going to be a question where the answer is around regression this is not always the case so see it's got make no assumptions <laughs> um however i would say on your first blast through the answers you can make some assumptions based on those keywords and then just double check them when you if you have time to review them at the end because sometimes they are a little tricky. And I've put a few examples of that in, uh, in these modules so that we can talk about that. If you are a student and you are following and you have joined the Microsoft Student Accelerator, then that's great. Um, we will continue to support you and you can grow our student community to help each other with what you learn and level up by uh, learning together and inspiring each other, teaching each other and being part of this program. If you are not already part of this program, then do register and sign up. Uh, and if you're not a student, then don't. <laughs> but you can, you're still welcome to follow the course and uh, use the content. Okay. 